not one, but two huge PlayStation 5 exclusives just leaked. Let's go. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with the video you already know give it a like thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up bro not one but two huge playstation 5 exclusives have been leaked the first one pretty big from software the developers of the original Bloodborne game are working on another PS5 exclusive and the successor to Bloodborne. It's going to be Bloodborne 2. And right now, it's being called Velvet Veil. And according to this article, Glitch.Online, saying that this game has been in development for some time already so it's been in development for a while it could be announced at any time i did hear from another source that this game won't be announced until after elden ring um, um releases and so after elden ring releases we should hear more information on the sequel to bloodborne of course they don't want to um uh, affect any Elden Ring sales and so it's mums the word now but it has been leaked and this is the same person the source who leaked Sekiro Shadows Die Twice and multiple other unannounced projects that actually became a reality and so this is coming from a very very reliable source Velvet Veil will be the sequel to bloodborne playstation 5 exclusive which is crazy the next news item bro playstation ceo herman holtz he was recently interviewed and he threw some shots at microsoft but what he said was true and He's teasing the next big PS5 IP. Sony has partnered with Deviation Games. For those of you that don't know, it's a new studio that was created and great pedigree involved in the studio. Former Call of Duty developers, big developers came together and created this new studio, Deviation Games. And they're saying that they're gonna be coming out with this game they're saying to stay tuned this is coming from mickey.com and the article is saying obviously this is a direct quote from herman holtz we're not announcing a game yet but a partnership and they said that at the same time we've been working together for a while now it's not like we signed the deal yesterday We've been working together for about a year, a year and a half, and it's going really well. We have our guys who are actively involved in the development that play the stuff that we're making. And so sources are saying <coughs> this is going to be a PlayStation first person shooter and exclusive to, um, um, to PS to PlayStation. And it would make sense. Um, we know Xbox has Halo. Sony used to have Killzone, but uh, because Guerrilla Games started doing the Horizon game, um, Killzone has been put on the back burner. But a dope PlayStation, um, especially a PlayStation 5 uh, first person shooter, would, would be dope. And in this interview, they threw shots at Xbox and their strategy towards studio acquisition. What they were saying, what um, Sony is saying is, 
we don't outright, we're not in the business of just acquiring a whole bunch of different studios. We want to um, um, invest in new IPs, new franchises. And I tweeted this out on Twitter. There's a difference in Xbox and PlayStation's um, approach to studio acquisitions. Sony is trying to create new IPs. Um, what Xbox ha did with that Bethesda acquisition, they um, took away existing IPs from a great, from a big market of gamers. Games like Skyrim, uh, uh, of course. Um, what's that new game? Star Starfield. That's an all new IP. So kudos to them. But the vast majority of their IPs, Doom, Fall, um, Fallout. Skyrim, let's just say all of those become Xbox exclusive. And don't get me wrong, I could care less because I'm not a fan of Bethesda. My point is, those were IPs that everyone was already enjoying, and now Xbox is taking that away from a good chunk of PlayStation gamers. Whereas, IPs like, of course, consoles should have exclusives. Halo, Gears, um... Um, Banjo and Kazooie, God of War, Mario, all of those are IPs that those established IPs, and even if they create new IPs, that's fine. But for Phil Spencer to say, oh, we want gaming to be for everyone and all that, all that kumbaya talk, that's really just marketing. He really doesn't mean that because <laughs> they bought Bethesda and Bethesda with all their IPs. Um, place, um, they're taking away a lot of those um, they could possibly we don't know what they're gonna do yet but it seems like those Bethesda games now they're taking it away from a good portion of gamers so just my thoughts on that that situation but um, Herman Host did throw some shots that that's not what Sony does that we're in the um, business of creating franchises not taking them away uh, from gamers Shots fired. The console war rages on. It's going to be interesting in the comment section of this video. It always is. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talk about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.